McAfee Active Response Workspace provides us with a streamlined workflow designed from the ground up to give us visibility into threats within the environment and the ability to instantly remediate them. In the Potential Threats section, we can see threats that have been identified by the cloud as being potentially malicious and would benefit from some additional investigation. I want to take a look at the Stock Plan EXE in our Potential Threats. When I click on it, it provides us with the necessary information to perform our investigation. In the Threat Timeline, that provides us with a history of the threats within the environment. It can help highlight any trends that we may have seen. Below that, we have the Affected Hosts. This shows all the endpoints that have this threat on it. And at the bottom, we can see the process trace. Let's just dig a little bit deeper. Here's my stockplan.exe process trace. It has some suspicious activity and it looks like it made a lot of modifications to the registry. When I click on the process, a detail panel appears. This panel provides plenty of information, not just about the file, but also information to help security administrators understand the context behind why this process is potentially suspicious. Next to behavior observed, we can see it tried to be persistent, infiltrate the environment, move laterally, and signal an infection. So that doesn't sound great. When we look further in the process trace, we can see that it has also established network connections. I can click on the network connection that provides us with the IP address that this stockplan.exe is connecting to. To continue our investigation, when I click on the IP address, it can show us all other systems within our environment that are also connected to this destination IP address in real time using DXL. Wow, it looks like this issue is a lot bigger than we first imagined. We can see multiple connections to this malicious IP address. And it's not just stockplan.exe that's making a connection. It also looks like there's a gift card.exe, which also sounds pretty suspicious. It turns out there are a lot of hosts infected with a remote access trojan called Dark Comet. This isn't great news. With a remote access trojan, the adversary could perform a lot of malicious activities, such as exfiltrate files, access the web camera, or install keyloggers. Here we can see that he's opened a remote desktop connection and is poking around looking for company secrets. Let's go back to the Active Response workspace. We can see giftcard.exe and whoa, there are a lot of systems connected to it. We can see that this process is most likely malicious, so let's go ahead and remediate this threat. I can select all the affected endpoints with active response and stop and remove the threat from all the endpoints with a click. Almost immediately, the process is killed and removed and the connection with the remote access trojan command and control server is severed. Now, back to our original problem, stockplan.exe. I want to correct these systems as well, but this time I'm going to do something more permanent. I'm going to perform a global action to set stockplan.exe as known malicious. This action will not only kill the process and delete the file, but it will also change the file's reputation across the entire enterprise in the Threat Intelligence Exchange to prevent it from ever executing again.